How do you do? I'm CEO Foxtrot. And what if I told you I'm going to look at a property for sale in St. Denis? And here it is. No, you're still not able to buy properties in Red Dead Online at the time this video was made. But this property is for sale. At least that's what it says on the sign. Well, right now, not too much is going on in Red Dead Online. So in today's video, I'm going to have some fun showing you seven cool random locations that I think you'll get a kick out of as I add in some cool cinematic roleplay. Like wanting to buy this property. So all of these locations are going to be what if situations that tell a little story about each location. So sit back and relax as I take you along to see my perspective of Red Dead Online. What if I'm able to break into this mansion that's not open to players online and get in without using a glitch? Shout out to Savage Rock TV for this break in method. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. What do we got here? Looks like some jewelry. Alright, that was easy. If you guys do make it up in here, make sure you check out the rest of the house. Here's a sneak peek. What if I told you I had an apartment in the dusty town of Tumbleweed? How do you do? All right, fellas, got to go. Got to show these YouTube folks my apartment. If you guys are ever out this way, I'll leave the door unlocked for you. What if I could stay at McFarland Ranch like John Marston did in Red Dead Redemption 1? Let's go see Bonnie McFarland. What, she's not here? Let me go check around back. This is private land. Oh, there she is. I don't mean to bother you, Miss McFarland. So you want to make some money? No, I actually need a place to stay if you got something available. Looks like I found me a place at McFarland Ranch. Let's go check it out.
What if I said I lived on a houseboat? This boat I'm sitting on is my neighbor's boat, but there's my boat right there. Let's go check it out. It's very odd that you're able to sit on a boat that has nothing on it, but the houseboat doesn't let you do anything on it. Living locations and interiors should be much more interactive by letting you sit down, lay down, or even eat in some cases. Of course laying down can't alter time online, but it'd still be cool to be able to lay down and rest on beds. Let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way. This cool stuff should be interactive to allow players to want to hang out in locations like this. You could take baths in story mode. But what if I told you you could take a bath online also? In this game, it's very rare to see hot water, which makes me wonder why this isn't a much more popular location in the game. It's definitely one of the most beautiful locations. So if you need to take a break from the dusty grind, Head on up to Katora Springs for a long hot bath in the hot tub size of your choice. And don't forget to let your horse take a dip also. What if I told you that there was a waterfall in the game where the water flows from the bottom of the waterfall rather than over the top? Let's go take a look. There she is. You guys check this out. How beautiful is that? I gotta go because it's cold and slippery out here. Stick around to see the extended bonus ending to this video after my CEO Foxtrot logo. <laughs>